All right, it's 5.45 p.m. I've been awake since 3. I took some anti-inflammatories about 30 minutes ago because my upper back is jacked. Not fun. I look like a mess. I did wash my face. The place that I'm going has a tub, and when I get there and I've unpacked with my boyfriend, I am soaking in that tub for like an hour. Going to see if along the way we can get some muscle relaxer, back salt, back salts, food. So it will no longer hurt so much. Ugh, I might have to take some stuff stronger. I don't want to, but I don't know if I can drive for the first couple hours until I get this pain to subside. So yeah, I've been awake since three. Laundry is on achieving mode, thank goodness gonna have the housekeepers put this away. I did finish taking care of all this. This stuff all was in my suitcase. My my stuff I took. It all fit in that other bag, including the leather jacket. Not bringing that much stuff. And frankly, my back hurts so much right now. But I did finish an entire load of laundry, so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna take this out. Fold this set, throw the other stuff in, and yeah, just I hurt so much. Alright, this is all folded, they'll refold it, put it all away. I am proud that I hung up all this stuff from my boyfriend's laundry, put all this away. That's away. She's up there. So this is where we're at. Everything's all picked up. And I've put all these bags away. And yeah, I don't think that's any good. Filled up the garbage of random supplements. Only thing I wish I had time to do was trim all the extra plastic. I don't think I've got time. I'm gonna desperately need coffee. I'm gonna have my boyfriend stop at a gas station. And I'm gonna get the strongest coffee they have. We're going Colombian, guys. Need as much caffeine as humanly possible. And then I'm gonna eat a snack so I can take another one less. Try not to take anything strong. Like Tylenol or whatever, because I don't have a lot of food in my stomach and I don't want to have issues, so. All right, guys, let's go get coffee. I'm gonna open this door to the bathroom to let some light out so my boyfriend is, you know, he's fine. You can slowly start waking up. My sister did mention an alarm clock that illuminates the sun. Problem is, I sleep with a, a thing, a cover over my eyes when I'm home, just because it's so bright with everyone's lights out around the neighborhood and everything else, so. All right, sorry guys, this is gonna be my face today. I wish it was cuter. Wish I had time to do under eye stuff, but I packed everything. Show you guys all that's left. Don't know if I'll show you like the final final, but I'll show you pretty darn close. It is really cold in here. And I've gotta go downstairs to uh, turn on some, uh, the heat downstairs so that pipes don't freeze. Still 30 degrees. Just trying to save energy, honey. That doesn't always happen. So, also, it's really cold down here. We haven't had an issue with one of the stupid doors, and it's been irritating. So, not pleased at all. Alright, let's turn on this puppy. Okay. Turn it off. on. Got to go around the house, turn them all on. It feels like there's a door open. It's too cold. It's unnaturally cold. Yes, it's cold, but 65 says it's at 8, 70 here. The thing about the house is, okay, turn that down to 65. Set temperature, great. 
You yeah, know, it feels like the door's open. If it is, we have a spirit visiting. Oh, it's just really, really cold. We have had a spirit visit, so they weren't friendly. And they don't like me here. Hateful people do have a tendency to, I don't know what you call it, um, keep their energy in the house you're living in. A lot of people that don't like me, but don't want me in this house. So, sorry about the weird angle. Okay. Okay, take it to 65. So yeah, fun-filled adventures. Oh, I'm so tired. All right, this one should be good. I'm gonna turn on that one. Oh, it's always an adventure here, always. Till my boyfriend was like, honey, everything's gone crazy. But at least we're still hanging in there. Because most people probably wouldn't at this point. They would say, F it, we're done. But I'm resilient. I don't believe in giving up. So I won't. Hmm. Because I packed my roller bag and it's still kind of squished all in there tight. Mainly because I took a little vacuum with me. I didn't want to deal with any stupid crumbs this time around. We are changing what we're eating, though, because we've both gained weight. Well, my boyfriend said he hasn't, but I'm like, yeah, I've gained weight. You have, too. Also, my alarm's going to go off at 6, so I'm trying to get this done before. Okay, turn on. 60, that's fine. Okay. This has all been taken care of. Why is it so Jiminy Cricket cold? Oh, that's right. I live in the land of Niflheim. See, it says there's not like a window open or something. People that do crazy stuff. There we go. That sounds a little more sealed. Okay, last one's open. Eh, it's just really cold down here because it's like the basement area. Gotta get coffee. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Oh, my back hurts so much. I'm trying not to cry. Okay, let's see. Fell off. Oh, crap. I hate when that happens. You forget to leave one mile. Okay, it's going dark. Okay. I don't know if my boyfriend set an alarm. Sometimes he does. Sometimes I am the alarm. Why is this so Bloody cold. Ugh. Like it feels like a door open, kind of cold. Oh, big shiver. Ugh. This office is absolutely frigid. Sorry, checking on papers. And it looks like he's going through some papers, which is good. Less stuff for me to deal with. Goodness, I've got to get out of the office. It is so cold. It's coffee time. Thank the gods. Whatever one you believe in. Whatever one makes you happy in the morning. Mine definitely does. Okay. Alright, I've got to get coffee, like now. Come on, coffee. 
revive me. Oh, good for him. Grab me one of these and one of these. Epic. Love it. Come on, come on, come on. Also, in the wee hours of the morning, I did clean up the remainder of the glass. I think I'm just gonna put a sticky note. It says glass, please be careful. Oh, we have like up a majority of it. Yeah, this needs to be put back in after it's been cleaned. Don't know what these people made, but I cannot believe that whatever it was exploded all over. It's like, geez, people, what did you do to our stove? I mean, not, not our stove, oven. Leaving everything exactly how it is over here. Oh, he is alive. My level of exhaustion is I pushed the wrong button because I'm a dork. Push this side, which is broken, like bad, instead of this side. Shit, that's hot. Which means that I gotta unplug it to hurry up. I don't know how much water I wasted either. Always an adventure. Let's try this again. Oh, I'm exhausted. Hey, I'm gonna put a few things away, like this stuff over here. I'm tired, guys. Mischief managed. Let's go take get this to my boyfriend and I'll get another one. He's gotta wake up too. Bees and gems, we're all packed. All packed. Oh, damn, he brought his golf clubs. Shoot, I'm not carrying that. Oh, hell no. He can do it himself. Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. My back hurts. Nope, nope, just now. Nope. All right, reconfigured shit. Exhausted. My back hurts. Managed to shove my stuff on either side of the car. So he can shove his stuff in, in the food. My back hurts so much, it's getting nauseous. My boyfriend brings massive bottles of lotion and body wash and all this stuff. And that's why things are so heavy. Yeah, he brings a full size, it's irritating as shit. Don't be that person guys, travel size only.